What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to look at the font dialog box for TTK Bootstrap and Kinter. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the font dialog box, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Get your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my courses, all my future courses, for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. All right, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at using this really cool built-in font dialog box for TTK Bootstrap. And you can see we could pick any kind of font. I've picked whatever that is. Click OK, and boom, our text changes. We can open it again and, you know, pick something else, and then it changes back again. Now, this comes built in with TTK Bootstrap. It's a little tricky to use, and the documentation isn't super clear, so that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series, so check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. I'm just calling it font underscore dialog.py, and it's our basic TTK Bootstrap starter code that we always have. We're importing TTK Bootstrap as TB. I pip installed that a long time ago in this series, and everything else is just sort of basic code. So the first thing we need to do is import this thing, because even though we've imported TTK Bootstrap, we still have to import the font dialog thing. So let's go from TTK Bootstrap dot dialogs dot dialogs. And I know it's dialogs twice. That's a little weird. That's just how it is. This is technically a dialog box. So that's how we do that. We want to import font dialog and notice the F and the D are capitalized. So that's pretty much it. So let's come down here and let's create a label and button. So let's start with the button. I'm going to call it my underscore button. This is just going to be a TB dot button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to say what open font dialog, something like that. And let's give this a command of font dialog or yeah, let's be more descriptive and say open font, <laughs> something like that. All right, we'll create this function in just a minute. But for now, let's my underscore button dot pack this guy, give it a pad Y of like 40 to really push it down the screen. So, okay, we've got a button. Now we just need a label so that we can put something on the screen that changes whenever we select a different font, right? So I'm going to call this my underscore label because I'm very creative, right? And it's going to be a TB dot label. We want to put it in root and we want the text to say what? Hello world or something, whatever. And let's my underscore label dot pack this guy, give this a pad Y like 10, push it down the screen just a little bit from our button. So, all right, that looks good. So let's come up here and define that open font function. I'm just going to pass for now. I want to save this and run just to make sure these two things look okay. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run Python font underscore dialog dot pi. Uh-oh. Room. See, that's why we do this because we have an error already. Uh, we don't want to put this in room. We want to put it in root. Doy. <laughs> right. It's not even Monday morning. That's just inexcusable. All right. So run this guy again. Looks good. We've got a button. Doesn't do anything. We've got some text. It's tiny and barely readable, but it's on the screen and we're good to go. So, all right. Now let's head back over here and let's build out this function. So in order to use this, it's pretty simple. We just create a variable. Call it anything you want. I'm going to call it FD short for font dialog. And uh, really, it doesn't matter at all. And this is going to equal to a font dialog instance. And that's it. That's all we have to do. And now, if we want to show this, we just call fd.show. So here we can, what, I don't know, define the font dialog. And here, let's say, show the box, <laughs> right, ever. And then here we want to capture the result. So this is going to be an fd.result, right? So whenever we choose something, it will get passed into this variable fd in fd.result. And then we can use that with any widget that has a font attribute like a label, right? So let's say we also now want to update or let's say and update label. So let's just call my underscore label dot config. And we want to just set the font equal to that fd.result. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this, run it, see if that worked. So here we go. Let's click the button. Boom, this nice little box pops up. And let's pick something a little different. There we go. 
and boom, there it is. We can try it again with something even crazier like windings or whatever those are. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what else we got? Try this one. Yeah, just that easy. So that's the font dialog box. Very useful, very easy to do. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.